Join us at Contact in the Desert in California, June 1st to 3rd, 2018. It's time for another adventure with HiddenIncaTours.com. Today we're in the beautiful location of Paracas, Peru, three and a half hours drive south of Lima, and we're going to be exploring the ancient Paracas culture. This is the famous archaeologist Julio Citeo, who was the father of Peruvian archaeology. He made many discoveries in many parts of Peru, but one of his focuses was the ancient cemeteries of the Paracas culture. The Paracas culture basically existed from 800 BC to 100 AD when they were invaded by the Nazca culture. The location of the Paracas culture is around Pisco, Peru and the Paracas area of Peru. And what's astonishing about the Paracas, amongst many things, is that they lived in underground dwellings. And the question is, why? They also built massive adobe structures, such as this in the Chincha area, north of Pisco. Most of these are in ruins today, but originally they would have been quite glorious. Their housing was really quite primitive, these ones above ground, but then the mysterious ones that were underground. Was it because of the wind or the sand? They were also experts at brain surgery 2,000 plus years ago, and archaeologists are still debating as to why this brain surgery was done so much in this culture. But here you see examples of the brain surgery amongst elongated skulls, and these are the tools used made of obsidian. Basically, a segment of the skull was removed, and then a gold or silver sheet was put on top. And these are more examples of elongated skulls. And you can't tell in this video, but most of them had red hair. As well, they were buried in bundles like this, almost in an egg shaped, with very fine textiles. And here we have a ceramic pot with six fingers, which is curious. but they were absolute experts at textiles, producing at least 90 different shades of color from local plants and minerals. And again, the royal people were buried in tombs carved into the solid limestone bedrock. They almost looked like, and probably are, the equivalent of family mausoleums. When an individual died, the lid was opened up and his or her bundle was placed inside with other members of the family. And this is an example in the Paracas Museum of what one of these royal cemetery mausoleums would have looked like, including personal effects such as ceramics. Again, look at the different colors utilized by this so-called primitive people. And they were able to get hold of alpaca wool somehow. Alpaca grows or live in the highlands of Peru. And they also used a lot of cotton. And again, the different colors were taken from different plants and also different minerals of the area and beyond. 
and very different types of textiles, from ceremonial to fishing nets to gauze to other utilitarian textiles. This is the god of the Paracas, called Khan, as in Kontiki, and notice Khan is shown with red hair. And here you see what once was a Paracas city. Again, all of the structures, or almost all, were underground structures. And this is Cerro Colorado, one of the royal cemeteries. So thank you for coming on this little adventure, and we hope to see you one day on Hidden Inca Tours, whether in Peru, Bolivia, Egypt, Easter Island, etc. So these are related books at Amazon.com. The Enigma of Cranial Deformation, co-written with David Hatcher Childress. The Elongated Skulls of Peru and Bolivia, with a focus on the Paracas culture. And these are upcoming tours for 2018 at Hidden Inca Tours. Mexico, study of the Olmec, Toltec, Maya, and Aztec in January 2018. Our return to Egypt, exploring lost ancient high technology in March 2018. Uh, contact in the desert in June 2018 at Indian Wells, California. The Inti Raimi Inca Celebration of the Sun in Cusco and beyond in June 2018, our annual Elongated Skulls Tour of Peru in August, and our exploration of the Croatian coast and Bosnian pyramids in October 2018.